Well, here we are, another video, another day. Uh, today's gonna be a little different. Um, I actually have the Sigma 17500 APL lens mounted to the K3 Mark III. This lens, keep in mind, is known to not be very sharp. Uh, it's also a screw-driven film era lens. So the actual elements and design were not designed for a digital camera. But this video itself is actually going to be about the, I guess, the, the new party trick on the K3 Mark III, which is high light weighted metering. So I'm going to take some shots, uh, average, center, spot, and high light weighted metering, just to show you the differences and the recovery capability of the K3 Mark III in regards to bringing up shadows, bringing up the exposure is absolutely insane. Um, you can have a shot where most of the image is just jet black and you can still recover everything. And I'm gonna show you that after. Uh, now, as we know, with spot metering, you would basically just spot meter your scene and then recompose to what you wanna shoot and then shoot. With highlight weighted metering, basically what it does is it looks at the entire frame, uh, same way as average metering does. It looks at the entire frame and then it uh, adjusts the exposure and the metering based on the brightest segment of that entire frame. So it's like spot metering without having to actually do the compose thing. It's, it, it's absolutely, it's amazing. That's all I can say, just absolutely amazing. So there's some swans over here. Uh, you probably can't see that. Let's uh, move you here. Yeah, you can barely even see them, uh, but they're right there and there. Uh, I mean, it's not the absolute greatest uh, shot because they're both sleeping, but it is what it is. They're bright white, so it'll still give you an idea. Uh, so I'm going to start off in average. Hopefully you can see that right down here. Oh. right here average I'll just show you what uh, the different symbols look like so that's average center spot and highlight weighted so we'll start with average and uh, then we'll move on from there Now I'm going to change to whoop, change over to center and do another shot. Now I'm going to change to spot, another shot. And now I'm going to change to highlight weighted and do one more shot. And then I will show what these look like and review them as we go through the images. Okay, so here we have the uh, set of images in my uh, image viewing software and uh, so we're gonna start with average metering so this is what the average metering looks like you know it's 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 well exposed uh, given middle gray you know the water is a bit darker the sand is pretty bright uh, along here has got some detail and uh, you can see here the highlights at the very top here where the Sun's beaming down is pretty much gone uh, you know, there's a little bit of detail, but you can tell it's pretty, it's pretty gone. So let's move on to the next one, which is center metering. And because it's only, it's taking a measurement along here, it's a bit more concentrated. So you have a bit more detail. This area along here is a bit lighter. 
Uh, let's just go back to actually you know what we'll do so this is the average and we will do that so on the left side I'll be doing all the changing the uh, right side will remain as uh, the average base image so this is center weighted and now you can definitely see the difference between the two so you know this is taking average is taking a reading of the entire scene and trying to bring everything as middle middle gray this is taking a more concentrated area uh, now if you notice on the average one you can tell this you know this was in more in the shade so this was taking a reading more within the shaded darker areas there wasn't a whole lot of highlights to, for it to uh, really focus on to change the exposure now let's go to spot metering so I metered right here and you can see that this is well exposed but right along here it's completely and utterly blown out there's actually a bit more detail in the average slightly right along this edge here than there is in the highlight weighted metering because the high or sorry in the spot metering the spot metering is going to ignore everything else except for this little area right here now let's go to highlight weighted metering now with the highlight weighted metering you can clearly see it read the entire scene and it dropped everything down based on just the brightest areas in the scene period and that's basically what highlight metering does it analyzes the entire scene and it bases the exposure on the absolute brightest point within that entire scene it is useful uh, in the right situations and it's completely and utterly well I guess useless in other situations um, now when I was mentioning in regards to landscapes uh, here is let me just get to it here in, in landscapes uh, no I'll just give you a quick look and then uh, so this was the recovery that I had done and this is the initial shot that I had done using highlight weighted metering. I'll, we're going to get back to that in a sec. And now we're going to actually take a look at doing spot metering and then recompose versus uh, just taking the shot in highlight weighted metering. So I'm going to take another shot of a swan here as it cleans itself. Okay, so I focused on the swan. It's metered for the swan. I'm going to recompose just a little bit off to the side. So right now on the swan, actually let me bring the exposure down. I'm at ISO 100, trying to get the exposure dead center. There we go. So that's uh, ISO 100, f6.3 at 640th of a second. Move over to the water, and now it's completely and utterly underexposed. Now I'm going to switch to highlight weighted metering and just take a shot. So looking at spot metering and recomposing versus highlight weighted metering, you need to keep in mind spot metering is still advantageous. Uh, if you are not metering for the actual highlights of the image, such as uh, the back here on the swan. This is obviously the, the absolute brightest section of the swan, and that's where I actually metered. Uh, for example, if I metered along here where it's darker, the swan would have been completely and utterly overexposed because uh, the spot metering would have only dealt with the darker area, so it would have to bring the exposure up. Now. Let's take a look at the highlight weighted metering where I did not actually uh, focus here or meter here and then recompose. I just took the shot aiming dead straight right along here. So they do actually look pretty much the same. There really isn't a difference. Let's just bring this in here. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Back. Yeah, so there really isn't much of a difference. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's not the exact same shot because 
you know, this one is uh, <laughs> cleaning itself off, so the wing moved a little bit. But generally speaking, there really isn't much of a difference between these two shots in regards to the exposure itself. So in a pinch, uh, to, you know, just for more efficiency, if you're only concerned with maintaining the highlights, then definitely highlight weighted metering would be your absolute best bet, uh, without a doubt. However, if you are metering, uh, you know, say a more neutral area or metering shadows and darks, then spot metering would actually be the best way to go. Uh, let's now take a look at the final piece de resistance. So let's look at highlight weighted metering in a landscape situation. Now, I took this shot. I did not aim uh, the metering at the sun or anything. I just took the shot straight, left highlight, weight meet, highlight weighted metering on just to see how it would actually recover after the fact. So there isn't a whole lot of detail. I mean, this area along here is pretty much jet black all along here. There isn't really uh, any detail there at all. Uh, you've got you can see a little bit of the grass, uh, very, very little bit of the grass here. However, uh, with that said, keep in mind that, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the recovery, the amount of recovery you can get out of this camera is absolutely phenomenal. Now, when I uh, edited this image, it was very, very simple. I transferred the image straight to my phone through ImageSync. From there, I opened up Snapseed and I did the edit on the JPEG. This is what I was able to recover on the JPEG. It's a little overdone. It's hard to edit on a phone, but I wanted to see how, like, how absolutely far can you actually push this. Now, let's just uh, do a comparison side by side here. Because th this, is, this is nuts. Okay, there we go. So here are the two images. It's, I mean, it, it's, it, it's incredible. You, you don't even, I mean, you can see a little bit here. You can't see any of the bars really. Well, you can see a couple of them along here. Um, there's absolutely no detail along here. You know, so highlight weighted metering does open up a lot of creative uh, elements in regards to what you can reliably shoot with, coupled with the fact that the K3 Mark III does allow a lot of recovery, like an absolute amazing amount of recovery after the fact. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Helps me out. If you'd like to support the channel, I leave that info down at the bottom of the description. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and you will see me on my next video. I'm out.